dear friends. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here, witness the launching event of Union Pay Cloud. So actually, we have a long-term cooperation since three years ago. We started the cooperation at that time. That was the last generation of the Union Pay Cloud. So today, we hope that we can have deeper cooperation and. Our bank will not just be a user of Union Pay Cloud, but also a contributor. Just like Mr. Tu mentioned, that we can jointly build it better and better. And also, we hope this cloud can become a role model for our banking system, even the financial system. Now, my topic today is basically from the perspective of from a small and or medium. Commercial bank. So, what are the approaches for us in the future? My presentation can be divided into four parts, which are a model of digital transformation, targets of transformation, how to do it, the approach, and then related facilities and infrastructure for digital transformation. In the commercial bank sector, there are three models should be prioritized. The first one is that we should innovate a business model to connect with our customer and to penetrate into a vertical and market segment. And third, build an ecosystem. So the main content is about the changes in customer services. If we compare digital transformation to the changes in the agricultural and the industrial age, ages, when new technologies are widely used, the relationship between the banks and customers is actually changed. Actually, I have technology background. Actually, for people of my sort, we are very lucky. Our main job is to actively push our services to customers. And that was in the past. And now what we are focusing on is to provide integrated services. That means that the services from banks are going to penetrate it into our customers' lives and their works. And that is the main change from my perspective. How can we innovate about business models that should be depend on technologies, including mobile internet, IoT, so that we can scale up bank services? And on the basis of that, we can make them into different modules and then insert this module into customers' life and work. And second is to digitalize our main businesses. Well, the basic businesses of banks, such as the settlement, auditing, etc., which are mostly internally. So how can we use digital tools to improve the efficiency optimize the processes, these are things we need to consider. In such a digital area, all the traditional process, processes are subject for research. And actually, uh, people's mindset has changed. The main difference is that the participants are from all walks of life. Previously, when we design a process, that should be focused for a department of an organization. But now, the process should based on a thorough analysis of all the players from top down, from executives, managers, all the way to the employees. They need, all need to be taken into consideration. And third is about the operation and management of banks. It's all about improved service, control cost, and these are the things our management team care most about. How can we use digital tools to make the process more transparent? And with the help of data, we can have a better understanding about the status quo, and these are the key areas banks care about most. 
So in the future, our system design will be focused on the processes and guided by targets. And the results of processes will be less uh, will be more important. So we need to make the management and the operation of banks very transparent, very thorough, and in well control. So that's why we need digital tools. No matter what changes may uh, we can see at the surface, but actually the fundamentals for banks is to increase its customer base to so that it can improve its profitability and scale. Therefore, digital transformation is a approach as well as a tool to serve the core purposes of operation of banks. Through services, the quality of services, and the banks can improve its operation efficiency. And the most important two aspects is uh, improve the capacity to control risks, risks and operation efficiency. So that's why we have proposed this approach with one main focus and two supporting focuses. The core is to gain more customers, and the two supporting capacities is to improve efficiency and better manage cost. So banks need to better serve customers. How can we transform in the digital area? So from which aspects should we kickstart it? Digital digitalization has improved the operation capacity of banks. If we make a comparison, while we are produ improving the productivity, we need to change the production relationships, which can be boiled down into four aspects, uh, which are need to be transformed. First, the ch changing mindset. So currently, the mindset has changed fundamentally. And that is about customer centered, focus on focusing on their demands and to think about why banks exist. So only all banks are service providers. How to serve the customer is the starting point. And the second is to transfer the organization. With the new technologies, whether the organization and its um, this the way of organizing the organization can really be compatible with the new technologies. That's what we need to consider. And third, it's about changing culture. Uh, actually, people's thoughts are very powerful. In many cases, we used to follow the habits, and. We always do the things in the, uh, in the old ways that used to work, but in the new digital area, such a mindset will hinder the development or improve improvement of productivity. And the fourth is to change the IT management model as well as production model. Let's first look at a cha changing mindset. Now we're talking about from end to end. Different people may have different interpretations. But for us, we think the front end is about customers, and the back end is management. First of all, we should analyze who are our users. I'm not using customers. Instead, I'm using users. Normally, bank would call the account holders their users or their clients, and those who don't have their accounts, um, one-time business objects. But be it user or non-user, uh, we need to understand what they need. You need to understand who your users are. Within banks, there is an interesting saying. 
The establishment of the system is really based on the management mindset or the management's needs. Normally, the is a bottom-up process. Functionals, functional departments, they start from their needs. They really think about what are the needs of the management. So, on top of understanding your customers and their needs, you also need to think about what parties should be involved in the process. Without necessary parties, without the help to without the contributions and the help to the management, you wouldn't be able to build a healthy system. And also you need to digitalize the entire process. Uh, where are the bugs? And can we provide our services in a smooth way and in from multiple channels? And only by doing so can you improve your customer service and optimize your operational process. So that's how we understand end-to-end -end mindset. The starting point is the user, and the ending point is our management. The other perspective is thinking from the user's perspective. And in this regard, the first keyword is convenience. Well, we used to try to deliver our services next to our customers, but now we think we should embed our services in the customer's uh, daily scenarios. Putting all our business online. In the past, the service process start from when the customer enter into our outlet. But now for us to embed our service in customers' daily lives, we first need to think about what these scenarios are and design relevant elements in our system. For instance, account opening. In the past, they need to take lots of documents um, to go to the counter, to fill in the sheets and to open their accounts. But now uh, clients can just sit in their rooms and fill in the information on their mobile. And we have all kinds of verification systems back end to verify those information. And when the clients do go to the counter, it is a rather short process. And also you can see uh, which step you are in. Say there are five steps and you are on step three. And uh, customers, they have great interactions actually with the back end, with the bank, and thus guarantee you a good customer experience. We need to quantify all the processes, and all the processes need to be transparent so that we'll be able to identify the problems as soon as possible and communicate with our customers. Well, from this picture, we can see that for a company to do digital transformation, we first need to understand where do we want to go. And how do we want to go there? As mentioned by the previous speaker, versus the basic capability. And this sets the foundation, actually, for you to further develop your competitiveness. So on one side, we need to 
upgrade existing business, and on the other side, we need to create new business models so as to create new values in the vertical market and in the uh, segmented areas. For instance, we designed a travel pass for foreigners, actually, because uh, in the past, when foreigners, they traveled to China, uh, they find it difficult to make payments. The founder of uh, C-Trip, Master Liang, once mentioned that 20% uh, of foreign, travel foreign travelers, they envy China's mobile payment, and they are also um, find, they are also faced with great difficulties when trying to pay using their mobile because they couldn't use um, their foreign cards on their mobile. They couldn't hire a taxi, they couldn't pay for their meals, and etc. So for us, we design a travel pass allowing them to connect their, to link their cards with our uh, cloud pay. So making their lives much easier. And secondly, we are also thinking t about designing a, say, a tourism package for these travelers. For instance, we could put accommodation, uh, sightseeing spots, restaurants, and uh, all these necessities into one package and provide a first product to the foreign travelers. One, on one side, this means great convenience for them, and on the other side, this is also great business opportunity. So, such business model and the design of such business models means endless uh, possibilities for all parties. This picture is not uh, developed by Bank of China. This is about agile organization. This refers to not only technical stuff, but also our business uh, functions. So here we can see tribes, trays, and etc. All of them are concepts in agile organizations. While in this regard, first of all, we need to break, break up the silos, be it tribe or trade. All of them should be centered around products instead of responsibility. Why do we have um, communication barriers among different departments in the past? Well, because the original, because the traditional structure is based on responsibility instead of on the interest of the clients or um, center around products or business. So we need to break up those silos, increase the efficiency, and better serve our customer. So moving on to talk about changing culture. The first is innovation. Innovation is no easy thing. How to innovate and how to, well, innovate will at the same time um, be compliant with the regulations with uh, relevant laws and policies. Well, innovation will cause uh, the new distribution of interests, and so you could understand this would be a long process. And second is openness and cooperation. For instance, Mr. Tu mentioned Union Pay Cloud, and one feature of it is openness and cooperation. As banks, we need to have, we need to be open-minded, and work with all sorts of partners so as to increase our capabilities and broaden our horizon. Uh, 
This is about changing models or changing patterns. Banks should be stable and agile. And there is also a middle layer in between these two sides. You could see it as a middle desk. And the middle desk should connect these two sides in a rather sound way. This is the path of digital transformation. There are three stages, online, digitalization, and smart or uh, intelligent um, applications. They are not sequenced in a linear way. It's not one ahead of each other, uh, one ahead of another. They may be forging ahead in a parallel way. Well, well, forging ahead digital transformation, we need to rethink the relationship between banks and clients. The priority of digitalization, the second stage, lies in changing the old way of risk management. And the key of the second of the third stage is the integration of human and machine. Together human and machine can make decisions together. More accurate decisions actually so as to provide more efficient services to our clients. Only at the third stage can we have smart marketing, uh, smart risk control, and etc. Human judgment is inseparable. We need to balance human capabilities and machine abilities. So the first stage, online, it is not simply a direct upgrade of the old processes. Externally, we need to extend our services to a broader area, space-wise and temporal-wise. We need to be oriented by values. And only by providing values for our clients, say uh, you help them reduce the cost of capital, can you actually realize your own value as a bank? Internally, online means using information technology to upgrade or to optimize the old processes in many commercial banks, especially smaller ones. Many of those uh, backstage work are done manually. So without this online stage, um, you wouldn't be able to have a solid foundation for digitalization. For digitalization, we need to reach two goals. The first is top to bottom promotion. Strategic goals and work uh, targets should all be uh, distributed and implemented at different layers of the organization. It should be realized in a top-bottom way. Instead of having endless meetings, we could use uh, digital tools to um, put the goals, uh, to attach those goals into onto different layers of the organization. And also, we need to have a, a bottom top process, and uh, we could use this to follow the status quo of the implementation so as to have a timely monitoring. From this perspective, digitalization can, is about empowerment. It's an empowerment to our top executives, but also to our frontline workers. For example, for our customer managers, when they go to 
customers, what kind of products they are going to uh, talk with this client, what is the label of this client. All of this needs to be figured out so the managers can address the needs of our customers. Otherwise, even when the managers come to the customer, they won't be able to provide the customized products. They can only provide off-the-show products or services. So I think digitalization is about empowerment to all the people in this organization. For Bank of Shanghai, we want to smarterize throughout throughout this organization in the aspects of smart operations, smart investment, smart risk control, and marketing smart services. So I think this is universal for all the banks because they are the key aspects for bank management. The only difference is that each bank will have a different starting point among these five areas. Related measures. From organizing structure and the establishment of different, different departments, I have done some some uh, summarize here. So, without the support from the top leaders, digital transformation would be very difficult to be carried out. So, it is a important task for the whole bank group. And that is a priority of our leader team. What kind of approach we need? What are the KPIs we need? All of these are subjects for us to research. Well, we have targets and a system to promote digitalization. Eventually, the last one would be talents, which consists of two parts, internal talents cultivation and external talents introduction. We can, of course, through uh, recruitment and also in partnership with our partners, because they can work on the targets as well. Any good vision is based on, based on a good economic infrastructure, the improvement of productivity. So that holds true for digitalization as well. IT has laid the solid foundation for us. Some of the technologies are self-developed and also some of them are contributed by our partners. We hope that Union Pay Cloud can based on such an infrastructure and a foundation to have better cooperation and exploration. Thank you.